Hello and welcome everybody and thank you guys for joining me again. My name is Wilkie and I'm here with another Lost Ark video. Today's topic isn't so much of a guide nature, but I will be trying to clear out some of the confusions and misconceptions when it comes to PvP points, quote unquote ranks, and what ranks actually mean in Lost Ark. And I'm going to try and explain how to obtain those and why this should be looked at with a specific mindset, or rather it's important to understand what these ranks mean and how they are obtained before you actually make assumptions which may or may not be wrong depending on the information you have. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the actual MMR, the matchmaking rating, which is by, I guess by default, pretty much the number of choice when it comes to assessing how good or bad a player is. In most games, you will have a number linked to player performance, which is called in short MMR. So in my case here in ranked deathmatch, I currently have 1716 points, so this is my MMR if you will, and that puts me into the gold bracket. If you go into the uh, rating here, you can basically see that anything below 1399 or 1400 is bronze, so then we have 200 points of silver, 200 points of gold, plat, diamond, master, and grand master. So these are like the tiers, or I yeah, suppose the tiers you can call them, in Lost Ark, and this matchmaking rating works pretty much exactly like you know it from most other games. If you win a game, you get points. If you lose a game, you lose points. This is very straightforward. There's not too much crazy crazy stuff going on here. Winning makes you climb the ladder. Losing makes you not climb the ladder or basically drop down the ladder. Very straightforward. And I don't think there's too much confusion going on with this system here. But I think where the confusion happens is this ranked deathmatch ranked system to begin with is locked out at the start of PvP. So when people first go into PvP, they do not have the option to go into ranked PvP. But instead they will have to do any of the normal PvP matches. And that introduces another form of so-called rank, which in my opinion is a wrong term here. They should be called title or label or something. And how that works is by pressing Alt K you open the PvP information system, which is like a three-tap system. On the very first thing, you have something that is very blatantly stating PvP rank. And I think this is where a lot of people are getting misled by the game's um, either wrong terminology, it may also be a the English patch issue, but I think this should be somehow labeled a bit differently. Needless to say, this right here says Commander 6. If you start PvPing, you don't have any of that. You start at G20, you go down the road until all the way you hit Gladiator 1, which is like the first quote-unquote rank that you will ever hit in Lost Ark PvP. And from there on out, it's just more or less a climb upwards the Gladiator and then Commander Ladder. How this ladder looks like is if you go to the second tab, you can look at the rank change info here. So like I said, anything below Gladiator is basically... I don't know what's called ranked, it should be unranked. And then you have Gladiator 1 going all the way up to Gladiator 9. Then you transition into Commander 1 all the way until Commander 9 and the last and final quote unquote rank is Marshal. Right, so this is the highest thing that you, kept, you, that you can possibly obtain in this kind of ladder, if you will want to call it ladder. The issue here is that those points only go in one way. What I mean by that is by simply doing PvP activities, be that ranked, be that unranked PvP, be that PvP islands, you obtain, you obtain those rank points. However, those rank points were not actually directly this, but I'll explain that in the future. What the issue is here is that there is no way for you to tell as a player, as a spectator, as a teammate, as an, an enemy, as a friend, to know how good or how bad the player is. What I mean by that is, this number could be made up, let's say I lost every single game this week. I still may have this amount of number. I may also have won every single game this week, and I would still have the same number. So you can see where this is a problem, because this does not tell you anything whatsoever about player performance. Unlike the MMR, which isn't usually the best assessment, but at least it gives you an idea. If somebody is in Diamond or Grandmaster, you can probably tell that this dude is probably not a bad player. Vice versa if someone's in bronze and if it's not a smurf but actually a real legit player that is on the skill spectrum so far down below that he actually resides in bronze, you can typically tell, okay, this guy, this dude is bronze, this dude is diamond, you can probably say that the diamond player is on average better than the bronze player. 
obviously. You can't do this with this rank system. So the issue here is, I think, to understand that these rank points have nothing to do with player performance. And you don't, you don't know, you can't tell anything in that regard as to what the player did to earn those points and how good he was playing or how bad he was playing for that matter in order to get those points. Okay, with that out of the way, let's understand how the system works. So every time you PvP, like I said, you may win a game, you may lose a game, you do PvP islands, you will obtain those rank points. And I will do one PvP match, I will do a, a rank PvP match, like I said, it doesn't matter what kind of game we're doing, and I will catch you guys after this game so you can see that my rank points here actually have changed, and then we'll go to talk about what these points actually mean and how they affect your Gladiator, Commander, Martial rank in Lost Ark. So we're here at the end of uh, the second game, actually the first game I recorded in Craft, so I do apologize for this, but the results are still the same. So we did actually manage to win this type of game, so my MMR got up by a few points. Alongside of that, I did receive PvP points. So this is the weekly point number that we have taken a look at earlier and this is why i meant with win or lose it doesn't matter that number will just keep on rising the more you pvp if you remembered the number here the top 29.68 percent is still the same this one doesn't refresh instantly i think it's a daily refresh i'm not entirely sure how often i think alongside of the daily refresh it'll tell you where you actually are in the bracket and the bracket is something that i want to explain now and that is as follows. Those points here, so those PvP points that you obtain through PvPing, put you into a bracket alongside with everybody else who PvPs this week. So like I said, the game currently tells me this week I'm in the top 30% of people that PvPed according to the amount of points that I have amassed. This correlates to the amount of experience points you actually obtain after each weekly reset, and those experience points are what make up for your PvP rank slash gladiator commander marshal. So how this works, by clicking onto the plus icon here, it tells you where you are in the bracket. As I said currently, the game tells me that I am in this bracket. So if we were to take the current state of the server, after reset I would be obtaining 22,446 experience points. Right, so let's call this PvP experience for the, for the sake of simplicity. So. This experience will then go into my PvP experience bank, whatever it's called, and tell you where you are in this ranking. So the PvP experience points, right? This here is the same number as this here. So even though it says points here, it should actually tell, us, tell you its experience just like this. So I am currently Commander 6, right? So I, at the moment, am between this bracket of 800, uh, 183,448 and 222,199. I am in between that bracket, but I am above this threshold. As you can see here, my current experience is flat 200,809. So this is how the experience is made up. Of. But this obviously depends on how active PvP is and how many people are PvPing. The less people PvP, the easier it is for you to obtain these rank points and then climb in the weekly experience ladder. But again, the important note here that I want to clarify and I want to make clear again is that these points can only go one direction. This is only a number that keeps on going up. No matter how bad your performance is, even if you do shit in PvP, if you throw the game, if you go AFK, it does not matter. This number will keep on rising the more you PvP. It doesn't impact performance, it does, obviously, if you win, you get more points than if you lose, but there's still no indicator how good or bad this is. Somebody can spend 50 hours and have the same amount of points that I do, somebody can spend 10 hours and have the same amount of points. This is something that I want to make sure that people understand. That's why I'm saying that these ranks here, Gladiator, Commander, even Marshals, don't necessarily speak for good players. The only thing that tells you that they PvP at a substantial amount, which can be an indicator or maybe a hint that if you're seeing a marshal in PvP and you're like, okay, this dude PvP'd a fair bit amount, he's probably good, maybe he's good, maybe he's bad, 
Maybe he just likes to PvP, but maybe he's a bad player. Maybe he just brute forces PvP because he wants the tokens for his PvE grind, but he doesn't actually like PvP. You see where I'm going with this. This number here is obtainable by virtually anybody with enough time. And by, by enough time, I don't mean somebody who's spending 24-7 of their daily lifetime PvPing, but presumably if you PvP 20-30 to 30 hours every week, you can probably get this. I don't exactly know what the rates are, I never bothered grinding with this because for me this is a useless title. Like I said, it doesn't help me, it doesn't show me anything. The only benefit of being a higher rank here is you get more weekly tokens. This is the only or the single-handed benefit of having a higher quote-unquote PvP rank. But again, TLDR, rank points and PvP experience are nothing to be confused with actual MMR and have no clear value in terms of player skill. It is impossible to tell if a Marshal is good as bad, just like a Gladiator 5 can be much better of a player than Marshal simply because he doesn't PvP as much, but maybe he's putting a lot more effort and working on it, or maybe he took like a 3-4 month break. You don't know where this is actually going, so seeing somebody who's a Marshal or High Commander rank does absolutely not mean he's a good or a bad player. Likewise, if you see a Gladiator, it doesn't necessarily mean that he's a trashy player. Obviously, if you see people with like G20, G19, and they're not on a Smurf account, they're probably bad because they haven't PvP'd a whole lot. But inside of these rank ranges, I think it's hard to say whether or not a player is good. So the only real indicator we have in the game is the actual MMR, although I do have to admit, this is also not the best indicator of player skill because it really just factors in win or lose. It doesn't show you your kill rate, your assist rate, how much damage you dealt, how much damage you've taken, right? So there's a lot more that actually goes into what makes a player good and what makes a player bad. However, this is at least somewhat of an indicator of how good or bad a player is. This right here, in my opinion at least, is absolutely not. So yeah, this is hopefully making clear how these PvP points work. Like I said, you do earn PvP points by PvPing. Win or lose doesn't matter. Guild uh, PvP. I don't know if guild PvP counts for that, but PvP islands do count towards this rank point system. And those rank points will then create or put you into a position that will then be turned into experience. And that experience number is making up what kind of rank you are. Anywho, thank you everybody for joining me in this a uh, little bit more of a convoluted topic, but this is definitely a topic dear to my heart because I like PvPing and this is a very frequently asked question and people rant about this topic quite a lot even though they don't really understand the implications of it. So I do hope this may shed some light into the not so very obvious mechanics of PvP and Lost Ark. Last but not least, I do want to thank you everybody for joining me. If you're interested in seeing me live, I do stream on Monday, 1700 CSC, and typically one or two additional days, but those are not fixed in time or day. I will announce those on Twitter, YouTube videos like these, on my Twitch account when I stream, and also on my Discord server, so feel free to check out the social media in the links below. Last but not least, I do hope this was helpful. I'll see you guys next time. Do stay safe and do stay healthy. See ya.